Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So uh, for this video, we're going to be diving into a very interesting uh, and fantastic tool for creating mockups as well as wireframes, which is mockups. So what is mockup exactly? It's basically an online platform that allows you to design, collaborate, and share your ideas visually. Whether if you're a designer, developer, or a project manager, mockups is the perfect tool for creating stunning mockups, wireframes, as well as prototypes. And you know what else is great? You don't need to be a pro to get started on this tool. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And of course, first things first is you're going to need to sign up or log in to an account if you don't have one yet. Uh, and of course, as you can see here, it is free to start and you will be able to explore most of the features without actually any cost. So, uh, and then once you're signed up, you'll be taken to the dashboard. So first, let's go ahead and log in. And once we are logged in, we will end up here. We're going to see all these different templates. So here we can see uh, there are uh, mobile app ones, there's flowchart ones, as well as admin dashboard. Uh, so for this one, we're just going to do a uh, simple one for now. So let's do, uh, let's do this one. Uh, sure, a blog page wireframe. So we can make uh, a blog using this tool as well. We can also upgrade if we want more uh, templates uh, and other additional features as well. So for this one, we're just going to skip this. And as we can see here, we have all different sorts of uh, options and uh, things that we can change here on the toolbars menu. Uh, so here uh, we can see uh, we can add uh, insert uh, a new curated template. So we can use a different template here if you want to. Um, but for this example, we're just going to use this. Uh, and then here are the different stencils. So you can change all of these based on your preferences for what you need for your website. So here we have all sorts of things you can have even a map video player so you can have you can just go check the rest of these if you want to add them uh, and uh, put them into your uh, blog in this case we'll go through a few of the other tools that you can also uh, use here so here we have the pages uh, tab so here we can have the main page the post page uh, there's also category uh, and then page and as well as contact. So you can add, this is based off of the uh, uh, the blog template that we used, uh, the, that we selected earlier. So we can actually add a new page if we want to, if we want to add more to this, uh, and or we could just move all of this to trash or duplicate them if we want to. And here we have the outline. So we can add a bunch of different things on to our uh, main page here. And then here as as well, we can go through the templates again if we want to use a, a new template for create a new one for ourselves. And then here are the is this this is the uh, images library, so you can upload your own images for your uh, site or app that you want to make, and you'll be able to see them through here, and then just uh, uh, add them to your uh, your site here. And of course, you have icons as well. There is a lot. Uh, and then, yeah, so you, these are also categorized based on what kind of icons there are. So the, there are the material icons, uh, filled, outline. You, you can go through the uh, different types here. So you can even add emojis as well if you want to. And then here are the comments section that you can also add. Um, so you can customize that uh, to a uh, better degree of control. Uh, and then you can also uh, do a bunch of different setting options. So you can uh, make it so that the uh, things that you're moving around snap to the grids or guides. You can also change the uh, uh, show to show rulers if you want a more precise um, placement of your panels. Uh, and then uh, you can also go through the advanced settings and uh, do all of these. You can turn them off or turn them on depending on what you uh, prefer. And then uh, after that, we can go back to the pages here and just see how it looks. So this is what it looks like. 
Uh, you can also change the format if we want to. You have a lot of options for the page settings for this one. And then for the interactions, you can also add uh, things like, uh, so here we can click. Uh, you can have a uh, click or tap for the uh, buttons. Uh, and you can also show your hotspots as well. And then for the preview, you can see how it looks. Uh, so this is what it looks like right now on the web. Uh, and then we can go back to editing if we want to add or subtract more things. Uh, that's basically it for that. And then up here at the top, you can see the diagram. Uh, and here you can change all the dif different aspects of the uh, different panels, uh, icons as well. So you can change the sizing of these. Uh, and, uh, and then you can also change the icons. And you have here the uh, color as well as the placement and the sizing of uh, the icon itself. So you can even add a drop shadow if you want. So here, that's what it looks like. And then you can also uh, add a blur effect if you want. Although that kind of doesn't look too good right now. So it, it all just depends on what you want for your website. And then for here, we can also see the pencil. So we can, if we want to add, want to add more objects, uh, it, it wants us to upgrade to a plan. So let's actually go ahead and uh, check it out right now. So here we have the different options for the plan. So we have the free, the solo, team, and unlimited. Each of them have differing uh, features that are available. Uh, so yeah, you can see all of that here. Uh, but of course, uh, we just want to use this for now for free. But if you want to add more features, of course, you can definitely uh, go ahead and pay for it yourself. Uh, and then the rest of this, you can also use a pencil highlighter for drawing. You can make any shapes, lines. You can even make an arrow, text, and hotspots. As for the notes here, I guess I can't do that here. There we go. Uh, so you can add a sticky note, call out annotation, bracket annotation, speech bubble, thought bubble, and image. So you can add a bunch of other things as well. And then for the components, you can create or restore, reset, or detach an instance. Uh, so you can customize it a little bit better. And then you could also, this is basically kind of like a Photoshop or um, like a Illustrator uh, kind of uh, tool setting here for each of the objects that you have. And then for the handoff, uh, you, can, you have your options here for your fonts, your uh, page layout, colors as well. And then here you can click the export button. So you can export your completed website or app or whatever you uh, are making on this and then have it ready to go. And then you can also share this and then just click and copy a link. And then you'll be able to share this to other people who are also doing uh, who are also working on this uh, project uh, of a site or an app. Uh, so yeah, and that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope that uh, everything was uh, clear and uh, we were able to help you to understand how to go through and use this tool. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and of course share it with your friends. Also, let us know in the comments if we did miss anything or if you'd like to see more tutorials on uh, design tools like mockups like this. So uh, thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.